Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this time I'm going to show you how to build a Minecraft server. So let's get into it. First thing you need to do is open command prompt. Now to do that, you can do multiple ways. The way I like to do it is press the Windows key and hit R. Now open this, um, type in CMD and that's how you open command, command prompt my way. Um, type in IP config. Now there's gonna be stuff coming down. Um, I'm gonna it's gonna be blacked out for your screen because I don't want you seeing my IP address. What you need to memorize or write down is your default gateway. Uh, it will be this number, or it will be this number in the uh, the row. Um, and you also need to remember the IP4 address. Um, so we're going to download the server. Uh, go into your browser, Internet Explorer, um, Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever you use, uh, type in minecraft.net, you will you will be coming up on this screen. What you want to go is to menu, go to download, go to play with your friends, set up your own Minecraft server. Um, over here, go down to download Minecraft server with uh, 1.11.jar, right click it, save link as desktop, um, I already have it set up, if you guys want a server, um, just go to your desktop, hit new, folder, and type in Minecraft server, and that's how you set up a folder for it. Open up your server and your stuff should be in there. Double click it, it'll be loading some stuff, it'll go do that. And you'll go into ELA, type in true. Save it, open up again, and it's going to bring up more stuff. Done. You set up your Minecraft server, and now you have to port forward it. Or you want to use a Hamachi. I don't. I don't prefer that method. I prefer port forwarding because you can have any body on it, um, as many as people as you want it. So this time, remember your default gateway. You want to type it into your browser, browser, um, in a search area. And if you have AT&T, that's great. First thing you want to make sure you want to go to firewall, go to IP pass through. Make sure it's on default server. Um, then go to NAT Gaming and Custom Services. Type in like Minecraft server or Minecraft or server, or anything you want. Just memorize it. Um, go to like so server and the port for the range. You want to open back your Minecraft server that you made. Go to server and make sure the default is going to be 25565. You can change it to like 25564, 25569, 29835, whatever you want to. Um, just make sure the server port matches up that with this. Um, I'm going to change it to 4 because I already have a server purported. Make sure the base port host is the same as above. Just keep it TCP, UDP, and hit add. And it should add the services in here. What I'm going to do, don't do this. Because this is for me only. I'm going to delete it because I already have a server. Um... And if it doesn't work, make sure you restart your router. I don't know why. And then go to a browser and type in IP chicken. Um, this is this is your IP. This is where you are going to send to give your friends so you can join your server. And then you can open up your Minecraft. Hit play. 
Make sure your server is open. Done. Multiplayer. And just hit add server. And, and type in your IPv4 address. So it was this number, IPv, IPv4 address. It would be this number, this. What was it? Two. And again, that's going to be blacked out. Because I don't want you guys want joining my server. Now the the only way like the only way you guys can play is you gotta make sure you guys are both you, you gotta make sure it's on and you guys you gotta make sure it um you have good enough internet for it. And that's how it goes guys. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.